what's going on what's going on guys hot shot with me here i've been seeing a lot of funny business on the road man i've been seeing a lot of funny business you you people who be so-called tarping rolling up your tarps that junk is whack your stuff is all bunched up it's crazy when you get to your next load you can't even unfold your tarps correctly man that junk is whack so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna show y'all how to properly fold your tarps you know what i'm saying like i don't fold mine up i don't fold, I have one tarp here you know at the trailer spot right now that's where we at come check your boy out check your boy out there's my rolled up tarp right there that was already rolled um, previously, but it was a, it was looking a little funny. I'm not even gonna lie, it wasn't looking neat, wasn't looking pretty. I like to ro ride down the road, you know, looking like I'm supposed to be handling some things, you know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, this is what we're about to do. We're about to teach y'all how to roll up a tarp properly because, I mean, some of y'all, I don't know what y'all thinking, like, it's whack. So, anyway, we're gonna do this the right way and shoot, check your boy out, man. All right, so now the way I'm about to fold this tarp, we're gonna do both sides at the same time. We're gonna do it simultaneously so you can minimize the amount of steps you take in order to roll up your tarp properly and efficiently. Well, you're not gonna do one side at a time. You're kind of gonna do both, you know. You're gonna see how I do it, you know. So just watch me this way. in the right area for you guys so you guys can see see this magic this tarp rolling magic high Alright, so now that my tarp is unraveled, how I unravel it is how you should unravel your tarp over your load. I mean, the tarp, the, you should, y'all should notice. I mean, the tarp, the flaps literally just fall over on each side, call it a day. The size tarp I have, I don't know the size, but <laughs> the size that I have is actually what the semi trucks use. They're the eight foot drops plus the flap. I think it's like an eight foot drop flap as well. Uh -huh, I'm lying, that's whole, that's all cap. I think it's like a four foot drop flap. And, uh, Yeah, it's about a four foot drop flat. So, but it should still cover your whole load. Now, what I use is pretty much what the semi trucks use because that's what I was used to. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I went from architecture to semi trucks, you know, working for a flatbed company, and then I switched over to Hot Shot shortly after. I'm doing the hot shot thing i stuck what i was used to and i can tarp whatever load comes on the board that's another good reason to you know if you okay with tarping like i said i was used to it you know with your boy being used to it and uh you know just been doing this thing already i go ahead and get these lightweight tarps i went and ordered lightweight tarps not those heavyweight junks that you know maverick mcelroy tmc that they use now granted your tarps may rip a little quicker but the heavyweight stuff rips just as much almost you know once you keep it for a long period of time and if you secure, secure your load correctly with the proper with the proper uh, materials such as your blankets you should have no problems with your tarps ripping but you know i had a few instances where i ended up having some loads where i had too many pointy things for my uh for the amount of blankets that i had and i rolled with probably about three or four blankets with me so um you can already imagine how that goes at least to cover four corners you know of a, of a, of a total load so anyway we're gonna get to actually folding this load and uh this is how everybody should do it no matter if you got a flap or not this should be the process and it doesn't really take that long you know especially if you're hustling but i'm not gonna really go that far i'm not really got <clears throat> Whew, it's tied. But I'm not really gonna go that quick like I normally do. I'm gonna just go ahead and take my time with it. That way you guys can fully see and get a complete understanding of how you should be out here 
holding up your tarps. But yeah, check it out. All right, all right, all right. Just like that, we are done. We are done rolling up the tri uh, the tarp. Look at that nice burrito looking there. Shoot, I got a top. That one was pretty decent. It's not my best work, but I tried to get it right for you guys right here. So check this out, man. This is a burrito. And if you notice, I did a lot of certain things that, you know, even when I finished rolling up the tarps, what I did, what did I do? I put my knee on that tarp and brought my bungee around. Also, I put my bungee before I started rolling it up. I put my bungee in the area that you know, when it finally is rolled up, that bungee is already laid up under there. All I gotta do is grab both sides, put my knee into that tarp, and push it together. You know, that way you save yourself a lot of uh, problems with strength, or it, it basically helps your leverage. I mean, at the end of the day, it just really basically helps your leverage and it helps, it helps with safety. So at the end of the day, the main thing you need to understand is there's the center crease of your tarp. It's like the blanket or the sandwich that's folded in. Everything is folded into that center crease. You start out uh, doing both sides, with uh, the left and the right side going to the center, and then you repeat the process. You go take the edges, go to the center, and then once you have that, you know you fold it, you do it one more time, but literally just with one side because it'll fold over, and then boom, your sandwich is made. You're ready to eat. You're ready to roll. You're ready to hit the road and get to your next money. So at the end of the day, that's all. Uh, that's all I have to say about rolling up the tarps. I mean, I hopefully you all learned some things. I also, I don't know if you got something to hold, but you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta fix my hole with tarp and all it takes is some duct tape. I already told you that, but anyway, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get home. I am done with my trailer maintenance. I put that tire on, like I told you guys in one of my previous videos. So I got a brand new tire sitting up under there. This one, but it's all right, you know, it's all right. But this one up under here, that, oh shoot, you can't even tell, but that one's brand special. Finally was able to figure out exactly what type of tire it was. And um, it is 16 ply on those uh, tires that, that already came with the trailer when I first bought it about a year ago. So at the end of the day, we done. And hot shot with me out. Y'all take it easy. Peace. Down, I was tripping and taking a risk. Just cause the time running down on the clock, no, that don't mean that you got a blitz. Just chillin', be patient, keep working on you, and you'll see that thing coming in quick.